All right, David Harry here. Now, stop me if you've heard this one before. All right, is that three customer services? Yeah, what it is, see this ZTE router that you sent me? The TS9 ports have snapped off the back now, like clean cut off. Now, the problem is when they snap off, obviously I cannot connect my outdoor 5G antenna to the router no longer. But the other problem is, is once these TS9 ports do snap off, either if one or both snap snap off. What happens is the router no longer picks up 5G from its internal antennas either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hold on a minute, what do you mean you do not support the use of external antennas on a router that you supply, which has specifically got ports for external antennas on it? And what do you mean it's my fault? Okay, so that may have sounded familiar to some of you out there, so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. However, let me just clarify. So what it is, those TS9 ports on the back there are almost guaranteed to break, snap off, or just shear off the motherboard once you start trying to plug stuff into them. But here's the thing, it only takes one of them to snap off before you can no longer use your outdoor 5G antennas. But at this point, if one of them either like bends off the board, completely snaps off or whatever, the router will no longer pick up a 5G signal with its internal antennas either. Anyways, at this point, if you're in this position, don't be getting all bent out of shape about it and do not do what I done, which was to try and fix those ports and basically make it worse. What you need to do is send your router along to routermods.co.uk and have a professional modify it for you. Okay, so I am on the router mods website here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come to the top menu up here. And if I just hover over shop, it's going to come up with a bunch of options for us now in here what we want to do is just come down to where it says routers and mods and then come further down that list to where it says zte and then click on that now once the zte section has opened up we will see the very first thing here is the ZTE MC801A and this is basically the exact same router as what 3 supply so what we want to do is just click on select options here so just click on that now once on the options pages where it says mod type next to it it says choose an option so if we click in there we want to select part mod However, let me just show you what the full mod is. So if I go back into here and select full mod, if I scroll down here, we're going to see pictures of the full modification. And this is the one that gives us all eight SMA ports on the back of the router. In fact, this might be a better picture here, maybe. So as we can see, the full eight port modification. However, we're just interested in this video in the part mod. So I'm going to go back and select part mod. And if we just scroll down, as we can see, that is the two port mod. So now the next thing to do is to click on add to basket. Now, once that order has been added to the basket, if we come up here to where the basket is, if we hover over the basket, we can then verify what it is that we are about to order and then just click on checkout. And then once in checkout, all we need to do is just as you would do with any other online form anywhere on the internet, is just to fill out all your billing details and such. Also, we have an option here where we can deliver to a different address than what the actual billing address is. However, for most people, the billing address and the delivery address are going to be one of the same so most people are probably just going to untick that and then fill out this one section on its own here okay so you go ahead fill all that out with your address details and all the rest of it then you come down to the bottom here and just verify the modification once again that you're ordering and also this gives you the option to select what type of shipping service you want also if you live outside of the UK this will then come up with different options for your shipping as well the shipping that I've got here is just because I'm in the UK and then if we just carry on scrolling down here just fill out whichever option it is that you want to use to pay for it direct bank transfer credit card or PayPal and then just go ahead and tick on 
I have read and agreed with the website terms and conditions and then click on place order. However, my order ain't going anywhere because I didn't fill in those boxes, but that's only because I'm only showing you what to do. Now, one last thing I would say at this point though, before you send your router to router mods, make sure that you have wrapped it up all nice and safely. Try and use bubble wrap if you can, if you don't have the original box for the router. And also I would strongly recommend that you use some kind of tracked and insured postage or courier service. Okay, so just a few points here then. Before sending any router to router mods, just be aware that any of these modifications that router mods can do to your router will invalidate the original warranty of the router. However, if you find yourself in the same position as I have, where you've got a router which is under warranty, yet the supplier, in my instance, was three, wouldn't honor the warranty, fix it or replace it, you've basically got no option but to get it fixed or modified by somebody else anyway. Next thing to bear in mind is once this modification has been done to this ZTE router, but also this applies to most of the other modifications that router mods can do. It will bypass the original antennas that the TS9 port originally connected to as well. So what that means is once the modification is done, you will still no longer have the use of those internal antennas that the original TS9 ports were connected to. So what you're going to have to do is for internal use, connect a pair of antennas like this, which you can also buy from routermods.co.uk, or if you are just going to connect straight back to your external outdoor antenna, it's just exactly the same thing but in that instance you are then connecting to the new SMA ports on the router and the last point is this any of these modifications that router mods will do to your router either just this two port one or maybe you get the whole eight port one done to this ZTE router or indeed any of the modifications to any other of the routers that router mods can do whether that's just because it's replacing broken ports or because it's going to give you access to ports that were never available externally to the router what happens is the router will not suddenly become way better for picking up any signals okay so what you have to be clear about here is that these port modifications are only going to do the exact same thing that either the broken TS9 ports on any router we're doing initially before they snapped off and then also any ones where you get as a for instance with the ZTE router a full modification with the eight ports on these are only to extend the capabilities of ports that were not there for the internal antennas to be connected externally. So just to doubly bore you with this point, these modifications don't suddenly make your router better. What it does is just give your router the option to have more external antennas connected directly to the router, which boils down to this. If you have a poor signal to start off with, with external antennas or even indoor antennas where you might wanna replace with these little tiny indoor antennas, if your signals are poor, they still will be poor whether you're on TS9 or SMA or new SMA ports that you never had in the first place. Anyways, in my futile attempt to try and keep this video as short as possible, I'll leave it at that. However, I will be doing a second video about this modification and that video will be all about signal strength reception and also speed tests. So very specifically, what I'm going to be doing is to test the router with the mod on with these particular indoor antennas test that to see what the signal strength is like and also do some bandwidth tests and stuff like that and then what I will also do is connect my outdoor antenna to the router via those SMA ports and then rerun the same test so signal strength and speed test so keep an eye on the channel for that one because the external antenna results on that one are absolutely awesome okay so that definitely does it for this video and until the next time I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now